Hawthorne may have arrived at an electric MCG, one of the shortest priced prelim final favourites in the game's history, but they'd lose skipper Luke Hodge on match eve to face an Adelaide side conceding they needed to play out of their skin to short circuit the Hawk juggernaut. And that's precisely what they do early, finding the previously out of form Kurt Tippett. Comes in, first goal and offer, Adelaide get the start. And soon they double the dose. Around the corner, bending back, Henderson got all of it. The Hawks would have to shoot from long range for their first. Once again Young from 55 metres out. Gee, that's a magnificent kick. Adelaide had applied plenty of tackling pressure, but they'd hand Hawthorne the lead by gifting away a 50 before snatching it straight back. Sloan can steady here from 50 out to the punt road end. Wonderful transference of play. And while they had half as many inside 50s, the Crows were taking full toll through Kurt Tippett. Setting up for the banana off the boot and he's got it. Up by seven at quarter time, Adelaide would dish it up to Franklin. And while they'd extend their lead through Walker, Buddy would soon take his revenge. Got it to Franklin, he goes along the ground and he's kicked the goal. Bruce delivering the game's fifth lead change with the Hawks' fourth goal all before Hawthorne began to take flight. There's Burgoyne, straightens up, punt road in, 30 closing, hammers it home. A little mini break for the Hawks. But Tex would snatch one off the line to trim the margin. Comes around and he kicks the goal. They draw to within one as the clock ticked to half time before that man Walker delivered again. Stroked it magnificently. He kicks the goal. Now look at this. Feathers ruffled. The Hawks would close ranks at the main break, erasing the deficit through Gunston before Buddy broke clear and backed Bruce to finish it off. Franklin picks up the ball, the bounce, he can go all the way. The second, very unselfish, Bruce into the open goal. Whatever was said in that huddle had done the trick as the Hawks continue to break the shackles. Franklin at the back of the pack here, he's going to run into the open goal. Four in a row for Hawthorne, they lead it by 20 points. The Crows were in danger of being blown away. They'd claw one back through Van Burlo. And while the Hawks would keep coming, Adelaide had managed to stem the flow. 30 out, he kicks the goal. But just when it looked like they'd negotiated the worst of it, up Bob Rioli. Cyril just taps it to himself, leaves him in a wake. Boy! Brody Smith would get the Crows to within three kicks at three-quarter time. And Kurt Tippett would keep the ball rolling into the final term. To liven things up, to get it back to an 11-point margin. He's got it. He has got it. Adelaide are back in it. Hawthorne would weather the storm until Hale was collected by Paul Pleasure and the retribution cost them dearly. Directly in front. He's kicked the goal. He doesn't miss this guy. And soon John Cock would deliver an unlikely lead. He's kicked the goal. Adelaide are in front. But the Hawks would collect themselves, snatching back the lead through Rioli before he combined with Franklin for a 10-point lead. Cyril to Buddy! Buddy to kick the goal around the corner, got it! Buddy's kicked it! The Hawks looked headed for the GF until Taylor Walker marked inside 50 and gold inside 30 seconds. Less than a kick the difference as time ran out for Adelaide. So a huge scare for Hawthorne before booking their spot in the game showpiece against the Sydney Swans. David Murdoch, Big Pond Sport.